What's going on YouTube? Uh, this is Eric, of course, of Covenant of Love. And uh, this is a rebuttal to uh, a well-taken video um, with no disrespect uh, felt from the video. Uh, you are the first black man to help me address uh, and put into context what I was trying to say within one of the videos you may have seen, my older videos. <clears throat> First off, it's a little rough to make these videos. It's not easy. Um, I made one about uh, the family, which I've, I've put back into private uh, because I, I probably cursed too much at the end and I, and I didn't put out everything correctly that I should have. So that'll be my next video. The next video I'm gonna be making is about uh, uh, being gay, uh, being in the black movement, uh, ble uh, being in the feminist movement, and the people that are infiltrating alongside these people that have true grievances and they're infiltrating and mutating and changing uh, how these things work. So let me get into this. Um, I am a product of reverse racism, okay? I grew up, uh, my mom was white, Irish, German, Swedish, French, English, okay? My father was Latin, Indian, <clears throat> and had uh, some German, Irish in him. But where I grew up was predominantly Latinos. So uh, I believe the first person that punched me in the face was a black guy. Uh, and he punched me in my face for absolutely no reason. And uh, he used a lot of these things like you're a white boy this and you're a white boy that. Uh, that was my, uh, this I believe was like in third or fourth grade. Uh, after that, okay, I've been jumped 16, 17 times. Uh, <clears throat> I've been shot at seven times. Uh, now, I could sit here and say, white people are really, really good. They never shot at me. They never beat me up. It was always somebody of color. So when I say it's not about color, it's about life right now in the situation that we are as people awakening to the evil. Uh, I am not your typical, um, if I, I mean, I know I look white, but I'm not your typical white guy, okay? When I was 11 and 12 and 13, I was reading Marcus Garvey. I was reading Malcolm X. I was reading um, a lot of very heavy literature. This pointed out to me, and which I was very happy to find out, especially for Malcolm X, is that when he went to Mecca, that he found that it wasn't about color and there were good white people. That being said, I'm not a Muslim, obviously. But what the point is that I'm trying to get across is that they will use all of us against each other. And in my opinion, okay, you know, because I'm not an elite and you can, you know, label the elites all you want to. <clears throat> uh, the truth is they could give us a lot more disease and kill us off a lot quicker than most of us realize, especially right now, in which they are. And there's certain things that I won't go into because I'll, I'll, uh, I won't be around too long if I do. But my point being, and what I wanted to say is, okay, I've been brutalized, I've been shot, and I've been beat up. I've been called, you know, white boy this, white boy that, white boy, white boy, white boy. Uh, it's been females of, of color as well. But that's where I grew up, and that was the area that I grew up in. And... Um, I guess my bottom line and my, the point that I'm trying to make is that we are at a new cusp of realization. You know, I've said it in other videos. You know, I, I guess I'm gonna have to, I have a lot of videos that I pull and I'll have to go through all of them. But, um, you know, uh, when I was looking at the NWACP and uh, this Indian woman's married to a black man, uh, they get pulled over. Uh, and he was he was somehow in, in the government. They were both well-to-do people within their community, and they were well known. And um, uh, basically, uh, they took out her husband out of the car and started beating out, hit the shit out of him for no reason. And you know, I, I put the video out saying, um, you know, if we had realized, if, if the good white people, because I don't like to get into this kind of specific stuff because it's very easy to be labeled, labeled a racist. <clears throat> if we would have listened to all these black people that were saying, hey man, this is going on, hey, this is going on. You you have this, this, this brotherhood that is racist. 
okay? Now it's on both sides. Now, unfortunately, the blacks have taken it so long that now they want to hurt the white people. And I don't think you're one of those people. And um, when I say it's not about race, it's not. If we keep holding on to, and I, and I try to point this out with the sacrifice video that I put out, uh, people cling to the Egyptians or you're, you may cling to the black uh, nobility of, of archaic knowledge that maybe I can't even find yet. You'll find that they were all somewhat somewhere along the line superstitious or into religious beliefs that are not plausible within science today. We can see God on many, many, many levels. It's time for us to take away these, these, this power that the priesthoods, the royalties, the allegory, uh, oligarchies have. Take back the world and make it uh, peace, peaceable. Now, I'm going to tell you, it's gonna, it's gonna, there's going to be blood up to the knees, all this stuff that they talk about. Because the truth is, the wheat and the tars are good people against evil people. It doesn't have to do with any royal bloodline. And this is what I've said over and over again. If we keep dealing with race, if we keep dealing with religion, if we keep dealing with creeds, colors, cultures, we will all be dead soon. They will have won. And if it's going to be this white pure race that you're talking about, they're going to win. Um, <clears throat> Cause you know, there's a, there's another side to this, which I don't want to get into too much. But I will say that there is a race that is, that is light-skinned as well that doesn't like white people. And uh, they have painted them in, in a very, very bad light. And they will kill them as well. And it's just like the brotherhood that is of color that is within this brotherhood now that believes that this utopia is coming where they will be allowed to exist they will not be allowed to exist after the first wave. Just like I believe these two groups, there might be three groups that are all working together, but when they kill all of us, they will start to kill off each other. It's kind of really easy to see when you see how the Scottish, and I'm not saying the Scottish to envelope it, but I'm just trying to give you an example of how royalty might think. So I'm not trying to include anything about the Scottish in this is that they, they wanted to have the stone, the stone of Scone, right? So one guy had the Stone of Scone. He had to kill all of his cousins. He killed all of his cousins. So it's not only that they kill, or not they particularly, but these individuals that we we're talking about, not only do they kill those of other colors, they will kill their own family. So I think you need to have a broader perspective as far as how, how are we going to Get everybody who is a good person together and get them over this fucking hump that's going to kill all of us. Um, again, Bezcore has a video out called, uh, shoot, it's got Baphomet right on it, but uh, the stuff that's in that really describes what's going on right now. And, um, you know, the two sides that are we, we think are fighting at the top are really one. And I, I just hope that this has answered something of what you were saying. I'm uh, definitely not offended. Um, I have been around a lot of white racism. Uh, my grandfather was a racist. I have put that out in a video. I mean, I'm not trying to hide my past. There was a time that I was involved uh, in hate of other people of color because I was getting the shit kicked out of me every day. Um, I was getting jumped. I was getting uh, called names. Uh, you know, I, I, I've had 15, 20 guys beating me up at one time. This kind of stuff is not cool, but if I hadn't have grown, if I hadn't have got into martial arts and into, into Middle Eastern philosophy, if I hadn't have got into Christ, if I hadn't have got into things presented around me that could better my mind, I would have stayed filled with hate. And, and if we don't overcome the hate that they're allowing to build in all of us, they're going to win. And I guess that's all I have to say. I hope this is, it helps somewhat. Um, you know, I, I respect you as a person and I enjoy uh, what you're putting out. And uh, it's kind of funny that you brought this up because I, I put out this video where, you know, I, I put out a whole video and then the guy was like, well, so what you're saying is, is the gays, the gays are taking over the world, they're, they're, they're out to get everybody. And he, he, it's, it's very 
easy to manipulate a video and that's why I have to be very careful how I talk because I don't believe that the gays are trying to take over the world. Okay, I believe that there's people infiltrating them just as much as anything else. Uh, you know, I guess I would like to get into that slightly. <clears throat> if you grow up, if you're born gay, and you're gay, right? You're a gay person, okay? You still don't want a guy that's a pedophile bothering you till you're in, you know, hopefully 18. Some people that are in different countries may say 13, okay? I'm an American. I believe a person should be left alone sexually. And I know that that's, you know, I, I don't, and I don't mean totally because we know people are growing up and things happen, but I don't need the media pumping out sex. I don't need billboards pumping out sex, regardless if it's gay or straight. And what, what they're doing is they're infiltrating everything and trying to demoralize everybody. If you're born gay, you're born gay. That doesn't mean that you want some guy who's in his late fifties offering you 50 bucks to blow you. And these are the things that are happening. And uh, there are people that I come in direct contact, which I had to hold myself back from assaulting. And I mean that very honestly, where this person told me that we were talking about Catholic priests and all this molestation and this older gentleman who is in a church and sings every Sunday, uh, who is gay, uh, even though that is against the biblical text, if you read them, which I'm not saying if, you know, don't be in that religion if it's against you. That's all I'm saying. So he's in this this thing, and he he tells me, I go, man, all these poor kids that are head their heads are all fucked up. And he goes, what, man? He goes, what? Well, you deprived all these little boys of blowjobs, and you know how you know you you know like like it doesn't fuck their heads up for the rest of the time that they're around. Okay, molesters are not gay people. If you're gay and you find a, another person attractive, I'm sure you don't want to mess their head up and pervert their nature. And the perversion that is surrounding us is also per perverting culture, it's perverting feminism. So is, does feminism mean you can't be a good mother and raise children? Uh, you know, we get into all these different things where uh, now all of a sudden, uh, you know, if you're a feminist, most likely you, you've got to, you know, you've got to be hardcore gay and having children you know, I, I, where, where's feminine and lesbianism come in? They, they, they're, they're, they're folding it all in, and then when it, it gets kind of confusing, then they add the next twist and the next twist and the next twist. Uh, this person, another person, left me a comment on my site. You know, call me a you know fucktard or whatever, and that uh, you know how stupid I was to even mention that it's okay to have a family. And I believe it's okay for me to raise my family and hope to have grandkids. Now I'm a devil because I want to have grandkids. So I pointed out to him and I'll point out to everybody else because it's not just about color. It's not, it's, it's about all of it. It's a big enchilada, man. It's all of it. And this is the bottom line. <clears throat> the communist manifesto, right? You study the Communist Manifesto, that will go back into the Satanic Manifesto or the five points of Satanism. I'm not going to go into details of what they are because I'm not trying to talk shit about Satanists. All I'm trying to tell you is a lot of people don't want us having children. Okay, They want to see a lot of gay people. I'm not trying to say it's good or bad. But what they want to do with the children, which I think is bad, is they don't want people having children. They want to take the children that that are being bred and put them into state-run facilities so that they can be in a communist-style regime. Okay, that's not what this life is about, and that's not what I'm looking forward to in the future. I'm hoping to reach everybody. I don't care where you're from, who you are, what your color is. I'm not telling you that there's not a bunch of racists out there that uh, hate you, because there are, but I'm gonna tell you, so black guys hate white guys too. They're all racist, and that's that's the point, is that there's evil people and there's good people, and common sense in the middle has to prevail because nobody has it anymore. Um, and that's it. It's gotta be love, man. It's gotta be a covenant of love. Okay, I'm far from perfect, man. I've got a lot of issues. That doesn't mean that I don't wanna help every single person out who's good, regardless if they're gay, regardless if they're black, 
regardless if they're from another country, regardless if they're from another culture, all these things have to be looked at nakedly so that you, until we start to actually talk about it, and this is why I'm happy that you talked about it, until we start talking about it, we can't see these people that are coming in with an agenda, a much different agenda than should be had. And thank you for your time. And this is Erica Covenant of Love, man. And I, I just, <clears throat> I really would like to address this more and more with people, but it's just, you've got to be very careful. Very, very careful because people want to label you. See, I don't want to label because you told me that, you know, the blacks, you know, have been persecuted, which they have. And, and I've, I've talked about it. Everybody says, oh, the Jewish people have been persecuted. The Jew well, I'm pretty sure that the black people have been persecuted worse. And I've said that to many people. So I have a lot of personal conversations with people. Okay, I'm very limited. We're very limited in what we can put on here because it, it, it instantly some guy that has the, the real secret agenda that's a scum, total scumbag, is going to do everything in his power or her power to manipulate the things that I say to you. So I just hope you keep that in mind. Much love to everybody. This is Eric Coven Love. Thank you for your time.